Minister of Finance, Deputy Prime Minister, the Honorable Peter Turnquist, returned to Cabinet today telling reporters that he's taken two COVID-19 tests with negative results after being exposed to a COVID-19 patient and was isolating at home here in New Providence. Minister Turnquist also noted that he's not happy but comfortable with the state of affairs considering the still uncertain impact of COVID-19. He said a series of short-term loans to supplement lost revenue should be finalized soon. We have certainly learned lessons as we've gone along, uh, uh, predicting a little bit better uh, um, uh, behavior uh, and, and patterns, uh, and we will be a little bit more cautious uh, about how we reopen uh, once we get to that stage. Um, so again, um, you know, the, the, as I said, the bright side is that there is um, a viable domestic economy, uh, uh, certainly for the for the immediate uh, uh, future. Um, and we need to make sure that we protect that and, and facilitate it as, as best we can uh, with a view to reopening the borders as soon as possible, because that is also uh, obviously a very significant component of our economy. Minister Turquist also addressed a domestic economy that has been disrupted by on-again, off-again lockdowns and travel restrictions. So uh, all of our uh, immediate borrowing uh, plans uh, should be uh, completed, uh, if not completed, to be completed this week. Uh, and so from a uh, short-term perspective, uh, that bridge that we've been talking about, uh, bridge financing we've been talking about, um, we should have that in hand, if not already, uh, certainly this week. Uh, and as we talked about, uh, the longer-term financing, uh, which will probably take the form of a bond offering, uh, we're working towards that in, for the fall. Well, how much is that?